a warm welcome to the fourth session of literati zone i welcome our today's guest ms vasudha pansare and ms mosmi varuha good evening everyone good evening. as promised myself sheila ayer and my co-host neha gupta are back again with prolific and lovely artist who are going to rejuvenate this evening a warm welcome vasudha ji mosmi ji and lovely audiences to a fourth episode of literati zone this is a Thank platform you. for writers you're welcome ma'am this is a platform for writers and poets to express themselves we sincerely thank shri manoj krishnan ji and complete als team for coming up with new initiatives to promote literature and arts age is just a number and learning has no limit wondering why am i saying this right well in today's session we have two writers who belong to different generation but both are equally passionate about writing and learning new things this reminds me of a quote written by daishaku ikeda i quote creativity means to push open the heavy groaning doorway to life one who possesses hope is forever young and one who continually advances is forever beautiful i unquote i would now request neha to introduce our guest very good evening everyone very inspiring quote sheila from mr ikeda a japanese philosopher now without further delay i will introduce our guests of today's session ms vasudha pansare retired as head of department of english from bishop cotton women's christian college bangalore she is enjoying her retirement to the fullest engaging in several creative activities like reading writing reviews and writing poetry she has been writing poetry for a long while and recently has published two volumes of her poems she has won several awards uh, for her poetry in different poetry groups she has published two kindle editions of poetry the first volume of poetry is the masks and other poems the second volume is leaves of autumn and other poems it is an honor to welcome you here today vasudha ji thank you thank you very much most welcome ma'am uh, our next guest is miss mosmi baruha she uh, she is a freelancer by profession at gurgaon she is a masters in english literature from the university of pune ferguson college pune she has started her career as a lecturer in a college in assam during her college days she worked as a sub editor at the eastern clarion uh, an english daily published from uh, jorhat assam she is a bilingual writer and a poet many of her poems and short stories are published in a various national and international uh, literary platforms anthologies blogzines etc recently one of her art articles was published in the journal of asian art culture and literature a quarterly journal of repute she has uh, many noble accomplishments such as uh, noble uh, notable accomplishments such as uh, noble uh, literate rabindranath tagore award 2020 at mathura up by arpita foundation for her contribution to the society through literature international indian award for literature by world english writers union women achievers award 2020 certificate of appreciation by asian literary society truly honored to have you here mosmi ji most welcome thank you thank you sheila thank you neha and thank, thank you ma'am and well, welcome my request sheila to continue yeah sure thanks neha coming to asita ji ma'am you write consistently not only for weekly contest but on daily basis too i have read quite a few of them and do love reading your poems as words that you use are very simple to understand and one can easily connect now my question is when did you realize you wanted to write and that what is that thing that motivates you uh, i have been writing poetry and articles for a long time ever since i was a young girl uh it was just a hobby i never thought of uh, publishing uh, my poetry or my works uh only recently after retirement the idea came to me 
that I should publish uh, whatever I have written. I have I have written quite a lot, and so I uh, thought I should publish a Kindle edition. And then um, uh, the first Kindle edition has around uh, 80 plus poems. Uh, that is the mass and other poems. And the second edition, uh, Leaves of Autumn and other poems, has around 125 poems. Uh, a little more than that. Uh, so uh, I, I wrote uh, for for my family, for my friends, and you know I wrote about whatever had an impact on me, on uh, personal issues, on love, life, mortality, and then uh, socio-political issues, environmental issues, feminist issues, whatever had an impact on my heart and mind, I wrote about. Okay. That's great. And, I, and I, as I said, I have read quite a few of your poems and you have been writing on so many different topics. And uh, I think you were, you were an editor during your college days also, right? Yes, yes. I, ed I was uh, editing the college magazine. Oh, wow. That was uh, indeed a good uh, break and a great experience. Yeah, yeah. It was a wonderful experience because yes. uh, uh, I had to do a lot of proofreading and uh, uh, my students also are very creative. I had to encourage them and I had to uh, improve upon their writing. So it was a great experience. Great experience. Lovely, lovely. Now my second question to you again. Uh, you write reviews for books. So when did you start this and what was the experience like? Uh, oh, writing reviews is a great experience. I started writing reviews again very recently. I've been reading right from childhood. But okay. the idea of writing reviews came to me when I joined reading clubs. When I joined reading clubs, then I saw a lot of reviews and I thought I should also start. So now every book I read, I write a review of that. Oh, wow. That's great. So That's great. It's a great. And you know, you meet so many like minded friends uh, on, um, uh, on these uh, forums. So Correct. when you share your thoughts and your ideas and your opinions about the book that you've read, and you get to know about a lot of new books yes. uh, through other reviews. So it's been a great experience. Lovely. And uh, you you love reading some um, some foreign authors book also, right? You had mentioned once. Yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, I love a lot of writers. Uh, you know, my favorite writers are Alexander McCall Smith, and in India, I like Vikram Seth, Shashi Deshpande, and uh, I like uh, Marcia Willett, Rosamund okay. Hilcher, uh, Maeve Binchy, a lot of authors. And okay. I, I read literature from, uh, from Britain, from, uh, you know, various uh, uh, Scottish literature, Irish literature, then American literature. Now I've recently read some books by, uh, written by a Korean writer, okay. uh, a Korean writer who writes about the Japanese occupation of Korea. Oh, uh, wow. So it, uh, and African literature also. There's a lot of very good African literature. Okay. You have a great, you have great exposure to all these uh, writers, and uh, you re really read a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can't. Every day I have to read. I can't that's, live without reading. It's like that. <laughs> that's a very good thing. That's a very good thing to uh, increase your knowledge. And then reading habit is anyways always good. Always good. Yeah. And it, it has helped me during this pandemic also. It, uh, right. I, have, I have been busy during this pandemic because of that. That's right. That's great. Now, uh, I, I would like to, um, yeah, you have launched two books, right? So would you like yeah. to read any of your poems from those books or uh, any of your uh, poem which you like? Yeah, I have a very favorite poem. I'll read that. Uh, okay. It is a prize-winning poem. And mm -hmm. I would like to, it is about um, uh, why a poet writes, how a poet writes. It is okay. about the creative process. Okay. okay. And the title of the poem is The Artist Within Me. Oh, the wow. Artist Within Me. Okay. One yes. minute. I'll just Please start. go ahead, ma'am. Words swirl in my mind, images brighten and fade away. There's a constant rhythm and music. The cauldron of poetry is always bubbling. Imagination works overtime, 
the artist within me is mostly alive and kicking wherever i turn whatever i behold in every nook and cranny in every face i can find a poem in every flower in every petal in every leaf in every tree there's a poem hidden waiting for the artist within me while i'm cooking or cutting vegetables or watching the pigeons making a din or building a nest or while i'm combing my hair suddenly a thought an idea an image floats into my mind and my mind weaves with words and the artist within me enjoys the process the sun the moon the starry sky the dark clouds beauty ugliness a tragedy a riot a birth a death anything can occupy the poet's canvas every experience is raw material every tear every laugh is stored for future use of the artist within me can anything in this universe be outside the scope of the writer's imagination every moment that i perceive every moment that i feel every moment that i live is full of possibilities for the artist within me thank you super very nice very beautiful poem and it looks thank like you, as a poem you. is there everywhere around you everywhere there is poem exactly <laughs> that's what i feel everywhere i can see your poem all right thank you so much vasudha ma'am uh, coming you. to our next test coming to our next test mosmi ji uh, my question to you is you have worked in assam as a lecturer and now in gurgaon as a freelancer which one will you find interesting and why well everything has its own uh, disadvantages and uh, uh, advantages pros and cons so while i was working as a uh, lecturer in assam it is in my own bar city zurhat so it is some kind of a familiarity with the region because it is my bar town uh, so i uh, there was a little bit of comfort zone and and as i was also a editor of the school, uh, the college magazines there was a attachment to my students and i really enjoyed the uh, accompanying my student to the quiz competition and debates competition uh, and life as a lecturer was very hectic at that time but coming to delhi uh, i do miss them uh, but here as a freelancer uh, i uh, got lot of uh, 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 time for pursue my other dreams also. I follow uh, other things also uh, because as a freelancer, I uh, do or take up the project at my own own convenience. So everything has its own pros and cons. Both are good, but uh, I do miss uh, my days as a lecturer. But uh, 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 in Delhi also, in Delhi the weather is uh, dim sweet. It's a ec- extreme weather in uh, this part of India. So. uh i uh, the freelancer job actually really suit me uh, it's a convenient okay. for me and uh, yes as far as convenience is concerned yeah that's that's it that's best and you can also fulfill all your uh, wishes the whatever you wanted to do but you get time enough time right absolutely now my second question is uh, do you think indian authors are underrated yeah that's a very good question uh, very relevant uh, i will try, uh, try to uh, do justice to your questions well some uh, couple of years ago i uh, read a article uh, the writer right i like to want to quote uh, that there is a difference between a best seller and a best author the best author author may not be a best seller but uh, yes there are some of the overrated writers are also there but i don't have any complaint because i myself also a writer every those who want to write have the right to write but at the same time it's painful to know that many of the writers the present generation of the readers does not know about them they are very good writers uh, they are very uh, very underrated uh, the uh, this present youngsters does not know about them there is raskin bone there is arkinarayan there is anita desai and there is one uh, writer kiran desai uh, she i think she probably won the booker prize also for her book the inheritance of loss it is a very beautiful 
uh, novel and book is published in 2006 and it it was a big failure at india uh, in mm -hmm. amazon it got a very negative review very negative re uh, review but it was a hit in india so so, so the ball is in the readers court yeah, they have to decide it what to take or what to not but we can't blame this uh, maybe time has changed the perception says same the uh quality the taste of reading maybe since and there is two women writers who are uh, totally ignored uh, by indian in indian uh, readers and india uh, there is also uh, I, uh mira jacobe there is Mridula koshi these all are very good writers there is Bikram set all these writers are uh, overrated so uh, in a sense, yes, uh, most of the good writers are uh, underrated. Underrated, yeah. I totally agree. There are there are few other writers like uh, Amrita Pritam, Amita Ghosh. They are also on the list of underwriting underrated uh, and writers. And there is also a point is Kamala Das. Kamala Das hardly where people know about or read. Try to read her. See, her points are so poignant, so sorrowful. Uh, she speaks about her own life also. She is such a powerful poetess, but uh, so hardly people uh, re read about her or read her poems. This Kamala does. Right. Then there is also Amrita Pritchard. Right. Thanks for sharing your views, ma'am. And uh, over to Neha. Thank you, Sheila. Uh, now uh, I come to Vasudha ji. Uh, so Vasudha ji, you have published two poetry books named The Mask and the Other Poems and the leaves of autumn and the other poems so please tell our audience about these books and the collection of poems in them uh, yes uh, both the uh, collections uh, have poems about uh, personal issues about love life death about women about socio-political issues environmental issues uh, as I told you, uh, my poetry is about everything around me. Mm -hmm. Everywhere I can find a poem. So whatever yeah. I feel strongly about, whatever impacts me, I write about that. And yeah. both the books uh, uh, have been quite well received by my friends and by my uh, readers. They have been well received. And uh, there are some reviews of those books on Amazon. Wow, wow, that's really great. So uh, I wish uh, lots of success uh, for both of your poetry books. And anyone who reads your post on LS group, since you are a very regular, uh, you know, contributor to all the LS groups and your posts yeah. are really a must read. I must recommend everyone to read your wonderful poems there on LS uh, uh, group that you post. So yeah, I'm sure I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to bring out a paperback edition of my second volume. Okay, so uh, I, I really uh, wish yeah. you lots of success for that. Thank you. And, uh, Thank you. I'm sure it's going to be a treat for, you know, all poetry lovers. So, uh, yeah. Now, my second question to you, ma'am, is like, uh, how do you choose your topics? And uh, how long does it take you to write a poem? Uh, I particularly want to know this because uh, you have written two books in such a short period and with remarkable number of poems in them. Like one book has 80 poems and another book has over 100 poems in it. So it is in such a short period and uh, the quality poems, not like, you know, just any poems. So uh, how do you manage to do that? Uh, I think um, while you are still working, there's a lot of responsibility on you uh, and uh, life is so hectic and especially when your children are growing up, life is so hectic and once you retire and once your children are settled, you know, you have a lot of freedom to write what you want to write. Right. So right. and in this pandemic, writing and reading has kept me very busy. So I, I don't uh, actually choose my topics. I think my topics choose me. Uh, and, uh, I, you know, uh, every day I have to write and I have to read. If I don't write, I have some anxiety. And if I don't read also, I feel anxiety. So uh -huh. those are my regular activities. Yeah, uh, that's true. That's so, true. Yeah. I think I writing. Yeah. yeah, correct, correct. 
it, it acts as meditation for you know uh, many people like when you write because there are many things you want to say but you're not you know uh, sometimes you're not able to you know uh, say those things so when you write so it's a very you know a yes, great yes, way to exactly. express yourself correct correct it is a way of expressing myself it is a way of uh, uh venting my happiness or my pain or my anger or you know all the emotions that's why uh, you know i'm very fond of that navarasa um, event on als absolutely the, because all the emotions that you have uh, you can express through poetry Ex uh, yeah. and uh, you, uh, you remain very calm when you write that's what yeah. i think like you said and it's like to als yeah and thanks to ls like during the pandemic also it kept us all busy and not yes, only yes. busy i think the hidden writer in us some somewhere came out like yes, <laughs> yeah, ls has been a very great inspiration for me and uh, als is a very organized platform you know they have regular events yeah. and uh, the results come out so quickly and every every topic every theme that they give is very interesting very very interesting it makes you think it makes you think and uh, every day you have something to write absolutely absolutely right ma'am because there are like the topics are like this if you read the poems of you know the contributors who have uh, you know participated in the contest then you can see that you know uh, only on single topic people can write you know, different different types of poems oh, yes oh so yes the topics so are so uh, different correct correct yeah so absolutely Thank you, Vasudha, ma'am, sharing your views here with us. Okay, yeah, now, yeah, thank uh, you so much. I want to thank ALS for this opportunity to yeah. talk about uh, my poetry and my books. Thank you Absolutely. so much. Absolutely, we all are very thankful to ALS. Thank you. Now, my next question is to you, Mosby, ma'am. Uh, your writing has a depth in it, and it reflects various moods of life. You write poems as well as stories. So, is there any particular genre you like to write in, and uh, uh, who are your favorite authors, and why? Yeah, no genre. I can I I like every given, topic. and my team is like that. Uh, uh, for uh, if everything passes, yeah, uh, like from a uh, uh, service bowl in a kitchen to a flower in a garden. If it every uh, it everything touches you deeply, you are a poet for me. And if you don't forget any incidents in your life, you can write a story. You can be a storyteller. So there is no particular genre. Whatever uh, touches me at the moment, uh, I pick it up. But do but uh, having said that, uh, Nessar, I am influenced by Nessar. Uh, so whatever the topic is, uh, I uh, I love to uh, write. Uh, about moon uh, especially about the brook uh, and also the petri so whenever the word petri so come i um, miss my own native soil so it is like there is no particular genre and currently i am very fond of writing in rhyme rhyming poem it was uh, earlier my poems are not rhyming but i now i am so fond of it fascinating for me so sometimes i will not going to write a rhyming poem but at, at the end i'm <laughs> Uh, it's become rhyming so there is no particular genre whatever touches me i used to write wow that's that's really true and since you're from assam so i think nature must be having a great impact on your writing since maybe your uh, childhood was surrounded uh, uh, especially rain and petri soda that when the first rain hit the ground and that mm -hmm. feeling was so uh, mesmerizing and and here in delhi uh, i do miss uh, that moment so whatever the topic i used to write uh, it's like by hook or by crook i want to the moon will come the petri souls uh, the word uh, yeah, it's come that way yeah wow amazing that's amazing and uh, would you like to please share who are your favorite authors and uh, uh, about your favorite authors Yes, uh, my uh, favorite uh, author is Sudha Murthy. I love mm -hmm. her because uh, she's a multifaceted woman, eh? not only a writer. She's, first of all, she's a wonderful human being. Uh, mm -hmm. She writes in very simple language, eh? uh, ordinary things, ordinary story, tell in an extraordinary way. 
she multifaceted and most uh, uh, may i told you now get, uh, knowing a good person right now is winning a lottery so if you read her you will know how uh, how beautiful her mind is uh, i actually re re related to her thoughts she, she write most important is she's writing in very simple words we can everybody can understand it Absolutely. she's only for I human being she's especially most of, mm -hmm. I, most of the uh, books uh, I used to purchase. Uh, and right now I'm reading this on 3,000 stitches. It is so in, uh, beautiful. The small little incidents he used to narrate in such a beautiful way. It's my, every day, same book I read again and again. And I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm not getting bored of her. <laughs> and uh, uh -huh. during college times, I, I, uh, I used to read uh, this Gun with the Wind, Margaret Mitchell. It was very romantic. Uh, novel uh, the manipulative character Scarlett O'Hara then also a uh, Rash Butler their love story and end of a, a end is such a beautiful uh, uh, she ended like Tara she going back to the Tara and said after, very it's very touching a dialogue after all tomorrow is another day so yeah the whole book is <laughs> I remember one word uh, the whole world, the whole novel was summed up in la, finally the world. After all, tomorrow is another day. So much of death in the novel. And I so remember much, so I much. completed the book in the 1,000 pages books. I remember complete in a one week. Just totally wow. read it. And there are many books. Uh, there is Parles, uh, Parles Bach, Murder, Good Art, uh, also mm -hmm. very beautiful uh, book. It's very mesmerizing, very good. So there are many books, many writers, but these two are, are my very favorite, Margaret Mitchell and Sudha Murthy. I completely agree with you. Sudha Murthy, she really writes so beautifully. The, you know, the daily uh, daily life of in the daily Indian life she portrays so well in her uh, books. So uh, they're really a beautiful treat, a wonderful book to read. Uh, now, uh, Mosmi Ji, which poem are you going to recite for us today? Yeah, it is one of my winning poem. I am going to read it. I love it actually. <laughs> On the wings love. So easy to travel far and wide, like an avian and wind, no boundaries to divide. So easy to visit the land of the rising sun, traveling through the deserts and sun dunes, sand dunes, where at dark the skies wrapping the crimson hue where the last race is the mountain blue. So easy to visit each other's heart chamber and become a co-weaver of stories of pain and laughter. So easy to melt the eyes and break the silence. So easy to heal the wounds and lift the curtains. So easy to afford it without a penny, one of the greatest blessings of Almighty. When sublime love soaks our love with its fragrance, cosmos becomes ours all becomes eaten in with joy abundance with love we grow closer and distance becomes a strangers come on the wings of love let's soar together and build only one nest coexist with nature where everyone will be dwellers our voice will be one where the sky will be our roof under it we shall sing a chorus and groove come on the wings of love left uplift each other admired colors of the rainbow in our feeders let's love be the key to our heart become one tribe glorify our soul and thrive thank you wow wow thank you mosmiji this is such beautiful. a beautiful composition come on the wings of love let's uplift each other and so easy to afford so easy to afford it without a penny one of the greatest blessings of Almighty. Very beautiful lines you have written here. And of course, love is the greatest blessing and is free for all. And uh, isn't this what uh, everyone is looking for? Right? So very beautiful composition uh, was there, mostly, ma'am. Uh, okay. Now I have a very uh, quick, uh, uh, like a short question for you. Uh, so uh, you're a bilingual writer and poet. So, which language, uh, which which are the languages you write in? English, of course, we know that in, you write in English. Yeah, which I, is the other language you write in? I, I write in Assamese. Okay. Assamese. Okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's really great. Since you have lived in Delhi, so you must be uh, well with Hindi also, right? Yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. 
हिंदी आती है मुझे so now uh, it's time it's almost time to close the session now so this was a fabulous session with fantastic guests and uh, thank you vasudha ma'am and mosmi ji for being here with us and uh, making this session interesting with your beautiful poems and taking us to the world of literature of prestigious writers and i want to thank mr manoj krishnan sir for giving us all this opportunity to exchange and share our views and compositions and before we end this session i would like to share one quote written by william saroyan an uh, armenian american novelist whose birthday is today on 31st august so the quote goes like each book can make a life or a fragment of it more beautiful so this is a very beautiful quote which i like because of course books play is very important role in our life whenever we read we add more beauty to our life and there are you know many beautiful things we can pick from each book so um, let us keep reading keep learning and make life more beautiful so see you all next week same day same time till then bye bye and thank you so much for being here with us all the lovely thank audience you. Thank wonderful you. Thank, you so thank you thank you so thank you vasudha ji thank you thank you ls thank you manoj sir thank you ls thank you manoj sir thank you ls ha thank you manoj krishnan thank you ls okay bye bye good night bye bye good night thank you